y'all it's y'all soon to be favorite hoochie and i am back with another mother freaking story time <laughs> y'all and if y'all can see about it, the title this is gonna be a story time of a miami trip from hell the pits of hell y'all but before i get into this video i'm gonna need y'all to like comment and subscribe Share with your mama, share with your daddy, share with your bald headed granny. Y'all know I'm just playing. Your granny got hurt. Your granny got hurt, okay? It's just a part of my punchline. Don't even get don't even get in your feelings about that, okay? You know I'm just playing. You know I'm just playing. But yeah, I'm gonna need y'all like, comment, subscribe, add the kid on her social medias. Instagram at it girl Yana, Snapchat at Thinky Nasty, Facebook at Yana Lachey. And don't forget to check out my previous videos. They will always be listed below. I do have a couple of disclaimers this time because I'm back to my original videos. So disclaimer, I do cuss a little bit, a tad bit, and excuse my dogs in the background, y'all. I don't know if my dog is on his period. Like, I don't know what's going on, but he's tripping today, okay? So please excuse them and excuse my language but I'm not gonna hold y'all I'm not gonna rip and ramble so without further ado grab your snacks grab your trees grab whatever you need and if you don't need anything to just sit back and relax because B you know I got the juice and baby it's juicy it's juicy so let's go every time take place earlier this year around my birthday I am a Pisces and my birthday is like I'm finna say it is like it is March 4th. So um as y'all know, this story time uh, features y'all favorite, my sister selfish. Da -da 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 drilling i mean not i was gonna say jack and reeling her ass back in into another crazy ass story time. So yeah, yeah. So um around our birthday we was planning on going to mexico tulum but for some reason we did not go because um her boyfriend had some friends out there at the time and their friends was in a situation that almost got them yeah so they was trying to warn us not to go out there so last fucking minute literally like two days before we were supposed to board we backed out the trip well really my sister and backed out the trip but i'm not gonna go to mexico by myself so I was a little nervous too because who the fuck told us to get an Airbnb in the jungle in Mexico? Oh. Who told us to do that? And we had looked it up online, like the travel advisory, and they were saying to avoid um, Airbnbs in the jungle. And I was like, great. We got it. <coughs> Damn. <coughs> Cut. <coughs> Cut. <coughs> but, anyways, we had got an Airbnb smack dab in the middle of the jungle. It was nice or whatever. It didn't even have no reviews like that. None of that. So, it. I mean, it did have reviews, but barely. And we was kind of like uncertain. We was. It wasn't sitting with my spirit. So I was cool with not going. We lost all our money. We didn't get no money back for that trip. Um, we just lost. Everything was like a total loss. So I'm like, bitch, selfish. If you think that I'm gonna sit here in my hometown on my birthday after I was planning to go out of town, go to Mexico and shake some ass and drink horchatas and shit. And you think I'm gonna sit in out here in our hometown for our birthday. No ma'am, no ma'am. So last minute, we have made a trip to Miami. Oh. It was a, th I was a third wheel on this trip. Um, the dude that I was with at the time did just a little bit for better. The dude that I was with at the time decided not to come for whatever Ivy for I'm I don't know why I'm talking about Ivy's for whatever reasons that is I'm not even gonna get into that and talk about that it's neither here nor there so the girl was looking like a snack meal all the way in Miami by herself third wheeling on my birthday okay so this particular day um I want to say this was Saturday. And we were leaving Monday. Yeah, because I think we got out there like Friday and then we we're going to leave Monday. So this day was Saturday. The, the whole trip, I mean, Friday went by. We had a blast, had a good time. Saturday went by. We had a blast, had a good time. But we decided to, um, what we do that morning? That morning we had went to a place called Victory in Miami. Victory. Vic Victory, victory, 
Curry. I can't talk y'all. This is why you shouldn't drink wine or nothing before you do a video. And I'm drinking wine, like I said. I could have a glass of wine. That's all I've been drinking. I ain't been drinking no liquor. I ain't been taking my medicine. I ain't been doing none of that. I've just been drinking wine. And the Bible says you can drink wine, okay? So this particular day, we decided to hit up Bakery Lounge. He had a reservation for Bakery. And um, we had brunch. When I say y'all, I'm going to insert clips. If I still got clips of everything, I'm going to insert clips here or here. One of these, one of these places. But yeah, we was at Bakery Lounge and they had bottomless mimosas. So we were just going, just going, just going. We had, I think we had two or three bottles of um, champagne. And you know champagne is sneaky. That shit will creep up on you and slap the shit out of you. <laughs> like you gotta be, you have to really place yourself with um, champagne or whatever. So we drinking champagne, having a good time. About time we, and um, I forgot to add that she had a homegirl. Look, should I get this homegirl a name? Yeah, we're just gonna give her a homegirl name. Uh, her homegirl, let's give her the name Kimberly. Yeah, we're gonna give her the name Kimberly. Why? No reason. Just just because that's the name that came up in my head. So she had a homegirl named Kimberly. Her homegirl Kimberly ended up popping up popping up out there like Friday. But for whatever reason, she didn't link with us. She was out there solo. And she was like our birthday twin. So we was pretty much birthday birthday triplets. We literally had the same exact birthday. Me, selfish, cause duh, me and selfish are twins. So me, selfish, and um Kimberly, we all shared the same birthday. So her birthday plans, Kimberly birthday plans fell through as well as ours. So she just decided to up and come and make a trip out there to Miami. And because Selfish was out there too, she just decided why not? So Kimberly finally meet us again, it's Saturday and we've been out there since Friday. So Kimberly finally meet us at Bakery Lounge or whatever. We drinking, have a good time, having a good time having a blast or whatever y'all by the time we left out of victory we all was damn near stumbling we was all about drunk drunk borderline drunk tipsy whatever you want to call it hold on let me turn this down i don't want to keep getting distracted so um we was borderline tipsy drunk whatever you want to call it or whatever and just guess what we decided to do after that we should have went home and took a nap but instead we decided to go um to their little boardwalk or whatever in Miami and go to um, Fat Tuesdays and get us one of them um, big old slushies or whatever. So we all uh, get in the car, go to the Uber or whatever, and we go to Fat Tuesdays. Once again, we already borderline drunk. We have no business drinking, but we're drinking anyways. So we just talking, chopping it up, looking at the Ferris wheel, you know, just doing a whole lot, a whole lot of nothing. And we're just talking about our plans for tonight, whatever we was going to do. So this particular night, we had a section at like a popular club called Brick. Y'all, I promise y'all, this will be the last time I record on my phone because nobody bothers me until I get, until I start recording. So today will be my last day doing footage on my phone. I'm going to my camera now. But anyways, off topic. So, um... We talking and we decide, well, we already had plans that we was going to go to a club called Brick out there. We always, anytime we in Miami, I always make it my duty to visit Paradise and Brick because Brick be lit. Like, it's, it's just something about Brick, the outdoor environment, the music, it be turned up, it be lit. So, yeah, we was, um, we was going to go there. We had a section or whatever to go there. Cool, cool, cool. Y'all here? Y'all with me? All right. So the whole trip, Selfish was cool. It was just us three, you know? I was just third women doing my thing, having a good time. I was pretty much just drunk the whole trip because I have to, you know, enjoy myself. I'm out here already by myself. It's my birthday. My other birthday plans fell to shit. So, I mean, I'm spending all this money. I'm going to come out here and I'm going to enjoy myself. I'm going to have a good time. So, you know, um, Selfish and her dude was off in the corner. I love you that we doing whatever they do. And, you know, I was just popping my shit, popping my shit or whatever. So, anyways, yeah, we decided to go uh, to the, to, oh, I said that to say the whole trip was drama free until this night. It was drama free. It was cool. It was easy going, positive vibes, good vibes. Everything was cool. All right, all right, all right. I was trying to avoid conflict as much as possible because I'm like, already I'm out here by myself. Well, Clint, I, I got my sister selfish, but technically I'm out here by myself. So, yeah. 
I'm just trying to make the most out of the trip just trying to make the most out of um the cars that i was dealt with so we decide um to go back to the room or whatever so we could start getting ready y'all i know it might not look like it but to me i felt like this night it was shit. I couldn't get my makeup right. I couldn't get nothing right, y'all, because I was a drunk. I was so drunk. It took me like five times to even get the eyebrows that y'all gonna see here. And it to me that wasn't even like up to part. But yeah, it took forever. So I'm just like, you know what? Whatever. Like I'm just gonna get ready and just have a good time because it don't even matter. Like this is the best I can do tonight. So we're just gonna go with it. We're gonna go with it because we we all was pretty much drunk. Like we all was pretty much drunk. So we all get ready and um, we head to the living room. We had an Airbnb and Kimberly come and meet us at the Airbnb or whatever. So we drinking, once again, should not be, but we're drinking, we taking shots or whatever and we waiting on selfish other homegirl that happened to stay out there. Let me, um, I'm gonna name this bitch Aunt because she had a big ass booty. She had a big ass Aunt B booty. So I'm gonna um, call her Aunt or whatever. It, it didn't look like an Aunt, like how, how other bitches look with the little skinny two pig legs and then the bumblebee booty. It wasn't like that. She really did have a nice body, but because her ass is fat, I'm gonna call her Aunt or whatever. Because Aunt's got fat asses, right? Or is that a B? Oh. A queen Aunt. Well, whatever. Y'all get the juice. She's gonna be Aunt. So um, we waiting on her homegirl aunt to come or whatever. And um, as we waiting on her, we just taking shots and shit or whatever. So um, aunt finally arrived and they chopping it up or whatever. I did say what's up, you know, um, talking a little bit. But from off the rip, I can already see the aunt vibe was a little bit off. It was a little bit different. Like it wasn't as welcome man. i mean she was cool but i'm i'm very much so like a uh, energy person like i can i can off top like come around you and see what kind of person you be sometimes i'm not always right but nine times out of ten i'd be spot on spot on but instantly initially meeting her her energy wasn't just like up there she it kind of gave it very much so gave fake and phony off rip but whatever i wasn't trying to let nothing fuck up my day because once again i'm like i'm out here by myself so i'm gonna just make the best of whatever these are her friends her click hold on what happened my ring like just cut off me like talking or whatever but anyways yeah off rip her energy just wasn't what that was but i was out there by myself so i was just trying to be friendly with everybody and make the best out of you know every like make the best out of the time that i'm that i'm make the best out of the time let me just say that because i don't know why i be trying to like look for words and it just throws me off so yeah i'm trying to make the best out of the trip or whatever not even worried about it just you know recording my videos doing what i'm doing because my bad job doing what i'm doing because like i said i've rip i wasn't really fucking with aunt's energy kimberly cool cool as hell off rip i fucked with her fucked with her vibe she was cool but aunt like she i wasn't uh -uh, i wasn't fucking with her like that but i was still cordial i was a bit of bitch i wasn't letting that show they're like ah you're weird you're weird that's weird but anyway so yeah we taking shots asking questions um I, and then why i said she was weird because i was trying to ask her questions because she did say that she was staying out there that she lived out there so i was trying to ask her questions or whatever just get to know her whatever and she was kind of dry you know so i was like uh -uh, I'm, I'm not the type to kiss ass never never have i will never would i ever kiss your ass so yeah i was like whatever you've been going this whole trip by yourself so it is what it is let's let's do the damn thing let's turn up so yeah, we get in the car, everybody load up in the car and we are on our way to the club. We're on our way to break or whatever. And they just making music requests or whatever. And I was telling, um, I think my sister boyfriend was like the DJ. So I was telling him to play um, Beyonce. Y'all know, baby, make it right. Don't let go till it's thumbs again. That was my shit. And that song had me by the choco. So I was telling bro and I was like, play that. Play that. Play that song for me. Play that song for me. And my sister boyfriend don't really need no name. I'm just call her boyfriend boyfriend. Like he he, he really don't need no name. So yeah. Um, he played that song or whatever. We singing. They're dry. Everybody in the back is dry. Like 
um, selfish and, and they dry as hell. Like they complaining about the song the whole time. Why are you playing this? Blah blah blah. Already, just the momentum of the club is just going downhill. Down here, that should have been my red flag to be like, okay, this is gonna be a shitty night. Let's just turn me back around. Let me go home. But no, I was so eager to turn up because it was my birthday eve. It was the day before my birthday. I'm like, bitch, ain't nobody finna steal my shine. This is the day that I was blessed. A legend was born and bought up into this world. Who are you to take it from me, bitch? Nobody. Nobody. <laughs> nobody. So I'm finna turn up. Shut up. So I'm finna turn up. So y'all, we finally get to the club or whatever. We checking in, letting them know um, that we had a section, blah, blah, blah. Doing all the proper procedures and stuff to sign into our um, our table. And I think the section was like $400 or something like that, somewhere around there. And usually how we do shit, like if you on our section, we busting it down. Like if you sit in the section, we busting it down. If you gonna drink my liquor, you gonna sit in my shit, you gonna party, we bust that shit down. However many ways that it go, except for the brother-in-law, he wasn't included in the bust down. But Kimberly and Aunt, bitch, where's y'all Where's y'all attributes? Where's y'all contri contribution to this table? Or y'all gonna be sitting outside this bitch. But no, um... Selfish was like hit me with the boom 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 and was like yeah it's just me and you that's paying for it so I'm like okay okay what she said about it okay whatever bitch so we bust down a little money or whatever um I break out my 200 she break off her 200 and we going to um we going to club or whatever that already kind of pissed me off because it's like Girl, selfish. I don't even know these bitches. I don't even know them to want to pay for their night, sponsor their night. Like, are you dumb? Are you dumb? And then I ain't even fucking with Ant's energy. So, girl. But I was just so desperate and eager to turn up, y'all. My birthday trip and plans was going downhill. So, I was just glad to be somewhere, enjoy myself, have a good vibe, good time, shake some ass. And, you know... Just being my energy, being being myself and celebrate my arrival. So we get in the club or whatever, we having a good time. I would say we got to the club and maybe like um, late 10 something, 11 or maybe, yeah, like 10 something, 11. This brand new ring light. I don't, I don't get what's going on. But anyway, let me hurry up. So if I get to talk fast, but it's because my ring light keep cutting off, and I don't know what's going on. So um, yeah, we get to the club at we get in maybe like 10 30, 11 30. No, 11 30 at latest or whatever. We get in there. Boom, boom. Uh, 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 having a good time. I'm gonna insert some clips of me or whatever. I'm just sitting there making Snapchats or whatever. Me and Kimberly, we get hungry because y'all, we were drinking all day, literally all day long. And the last time we ate was when we went to victory, 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 whatever. That was the last time we ate, and that was around a good four or five. And at this time, it was like 11, so we were starving. So we went and got some food or whatever. We kicking it, drinking. We finally get the bottles or whatever. So we taking pictures, taking shots, you know, doing a whole lot of, whole lot of gang, gang shit or whatever. So um, the night go on a little bit, and I'm noticing that Selfish is getting drunk like we were already borderline drunk but she getting like sloppy drunk let's keep it a book she was getting like sloppy drunk and we you know chilling having a good time it was some guys sitting the the club started getting packed like i don't know if y'all ever been a brick everything's like outside it's it's kind of like patio seating or whatever so it's starting to get packed everybody's starting to like crowd in there or whatever it was a group of guys you could tell they was from miami how you know dudes is from Miami is by them wicks, like them big ass nappy wicks or whatever that was stuck together. Like he had some of them. So I already knew he was Miami native or whatever. Selfish is so drunk, y'all. She just sitting on the couch, like rubbing um this random stranger like dress. Like she just rubbing this random nigga's dress. That's weird. So I'm like selfish, like no, I wasn't being a bitch about it or none of that, cause I don't want y'all to get a misconstrued. I was just telling her like, don't, don't rub on his dress. Like the whole time we was out there, selfish nigga was like on ten, like he was ready to, to 
to get get a pop and catch some action. So I was like, you don't procrastinate no drama. Like we had a good time this whole shit. We haven't argued. It haven't been weird. Like me and Selfish usually always argue. We all we always argue. And it's like um oil and water. We can't get along for shit. Why I don't know. But um yeah, so we um I'm trying to tell her like, hey, like don't rub his don't wear his dress. Thank God, the man, um, the dude dressed that she was wearing probably knew that she was drunk and didn't even acknowledge her or pay no attention to her because I did not want a problem, y'all. I did not want a problem. Um, her, her, her dude already got into it with somebody earlier that I mean earlier that day at the club because um a dude came and complimented her. So yeah, yeah, brother-in-law, ignat, not ignorant, ignat. <laughs> So yeah, I was like, please, 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 no, 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 don't do it, don't do it. What Kevin said, no, 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 don't do it, bitch. Like we having a good night. It's, it's. Let me have this moment. Like we was going out, we was going to voodoo and stuff, but it was. This is our first time. Like we actually had a section that was going down, whatever. So yeah, they bought us out a big ass bottle of Casamigos, the large bottle of Casamigos or whatever. And we just drink and have a good time and she do that shit. So I'm like, yeah, she's she's losing it. She's tripping or whatever. But neither her nor there. The night still go on. We dancing, having a good time. My our homeboy came. Um should we give him a name? Um, I could give him a name. We just gonna call my homeboy Mo. And if you know, you know for obvious reasons. So, um, yeah, our homeboy was in Miami, too, for a bachelorette party. So, he popped up to um, the club or whatever once he was done with whatever festivities that he was doing. And Mo came to the club. When he came to the club, he was lit already. It's always, always, always a good time with Mo. Like, how can anybody dislike him? The funniest person on this planet, the littest person on this planet was a good time. So he came and I was like, well, finally, a familiar face for me is coming and I can better be comfortable and enjoy myself through the night because the energy that um, that Selfish and Anne was giving, I was not here for it. And it was just so crazy to me how this whole time when we was by ourselves, it was just the threes of us. We was good. There was no bad vibes. But the moment that you started bringing outside entities, shit started getting weird, weird. So whatever, y'all. That's not, neither here nor there. Mo come, we take the shots, recording videos, whatever, turning up. I told y'all the situation happened with the dude with the wicks or whatever. That moment has passed. We own and we just still through the night turning up or whatever. So out of nowhere, my um, my sister selfish had asked her boyfriend. She was like, "Hey, can you pour me something to drink?" And um. You know at the club they give y'all like two two drinks or whatever. So our two drinks was like orange juice and cranberry juice. So um, she asked her boyfriend to pour her a glass of cranberry juice or whatever. So her boyfriend did did as he was told and poured um, her some cranberry juice or whatever. So y'all, can I make this shit up? He poured the cranberry juice. Guess what this bitch selfish did, y'all. Guess what she did? Let's go. This bitch tilts her cup over and pours her entire cup of cranberry juice on me. On me. I'm not gonna hold y'all. I wasn't chipping at first because I know how my sister, I know how selfish get when she drunk. She's just one of them people that act belligerent, wanna fight, just bad vibes when she get drunk. So I made excuses for her, or whatever. And um Mo, Mo and like her boyfriend was like kind of startled. Like, what the fuck? Like, why she just do that? Why she just do that? And her boyfriend like, why? She, why you do that? Like, why you do that? I'm like, no, 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 chill, chill, chill. It's okay. It's okay. She just got it on my legs and my shoes. Like, I just wipe it off or whatever. Just give me a bunch of napkins. I clean myself out. No big deal. Whatever. And we can continue on with the night or whatever. Because her boyfriend was going ham. He was going ham. And I was like, no, it's okay. It's cool. It's cool. She, she's drunk. She didn't mean it. She didn't mean it. She's drunk. So as um, her boyfriend go get napkins, a whole bunch of napkins and stuff, and I'm cleaning myself off or whatever. 
in the midst of me cleaning myself off, selfish leans over and she starts talking to me what she said y'all i really can't even remember because i was damn near lit myself i can't remember what she said but she was talking clearly like she wasn't um belligerent she wasn't showing signs that she was drunk or whatever hold on i need this y'all because my name is bad telling this story kind of pisses me off all over again but yeah so um yeah, um, she talking to me or whatever, but how she talk? She talking clearly to me. So I'm like, what the fuck? Is this bitch drunk or confusion? Confusion. So I'm asking her, I'm like, selfish. You know you wasted your drink on me, right? You know you wasted your drink on me? Did you do that on purpose? Like, no, I was just like, um, you wasted, no, I did. I was like, you wasted your drink on me. Like, did you do that on purpose? Like, why did you do that? And y'all, this bitch looked at me in my face, dead in my eyes, and was like, yeah, I know, I know. I know what I did. I said, so you did it on purpose? And she was like, yeah. Yeah, I did it on purpose. And she started smiling, y'all. The most devilish fucking smile I've ever seen in my life. Turned around to her homegirl and, and just bust out laughing. Her homegirl just bust out laughing. I'm ready to get the fuck ASAP after this shit. Y'all, for a split second, I was calm. Because I guess I was trying to process everything. Like... This can't be happening. Like, is this really happening? Like, huh? Que Monday? What's going on? Que paso? Puta? Like, what, what is going on? What's the deal? So, y'all, her turning around and laughing with her homegirl infuriated me. When I was calm, I'm saying in the blink of an eye, I was in full-blown rage mode. I was raging out. I was so mad. And I know Mo was like, what the fuck is wrong with this psycho bitch? Because in this conversation, it's like my mood just switched and I altered. I was a whole different person because I initially started talking to him calm. Like, why would she do that? Why would she do that? Why would she spill her drink on me? To in the minute of a blink of an eye, I was this mother Y'all, I just, it took everything in me. I just really wanted to pick up the Casamigos bottle and beat the shit out of both of them hoes. Because I cannot process what was going on here it is you're my sister my sister are you trying to humiliate me you trying to hurt me and do some shit to me in a club why why to impress this aunt bitch that you got with you like what's what's the problem what's the beef i'm sitting here having a good time enjoying myself not even in y'all face is it because i told you stop touching it stop um caressing a stranger's hair Bitch, did that upset you? Did that offend you? That you felt the need that you wanted to pour a drink on me? But anyways, neither here nor there. So, you yeah, know, I'm going crazy. Like, I'm going crazy. I'm in the midst of talking to Mo. I'm just going crazy. And I'm trying to calm myself down because I just know the type of person I am when I get mad. And we don't even need to go into detail about that or whatever. But I'm trying to calm myself down or whatever talking to mo but it's not helping i'm just getting madder and madder and madder so in the midst of me having my bf her boyfriend was like why the fuck did you do that like why would you he peeped the scene he peeped what was going on you get with your friend you get with your hunger and you acting funny you acting weird and you doing shit to your sister for no reason for no reason so y'all i cannot make this shit up they start getting into it in the club and they argument was the weirdest fucking argument I've ever seen in my life. Because I would think that they would be cool, calm, they done made up because they would kiss. And then in the blink of an eye, they back in each other's face. They arguing, they going off, they doing the most. She grabbing him, he grabbing her. It was just get up, get up. So I'm like, oh, no, oh, no. Once again, I told y'all, when Selfish is drunk, she's belligerent. Like, she acts a fucking fool or whatever. So they in the corner getting into it, doing the most or whatever. I'm trying to tell them, hey, y'all, now's not the time to do this. Let's just keep on having fun. Let's have a good time. Let's party. Woo, party. It's cool. I mean, I'm pissed off. You're a weird bitch. But, I mean, hey, we paid this money for this section. We ain't even been here a full fucking hour, y'all. It ain't even been an hour. And we doing this shit or whatever. So I'm telling her boyfriend, I'm like, y'all need to chill or whatever. And if she's too drunk, you need to go home. Because y'all are acting a fool. They to the verge of damn near finna fight in the corner or whatever. And so I'm trying to help, but as I'm helping or trying to help, 
selfish and like be cussing me out like bitch shut the fuck up she not talking to me like and one thing for saying two things for sure i ain't gonna be too many bitches in the bitch have to keep telling me to shut the fuck up i don't care who you is so i'm like okay let me stay out of it because it seems like when i try to insert myself it's just adding fuel to the fire it's just getting worse and worse so let me just shut up so i'm like okay cool whatever let me let them handle that situation or whatever. I tried to talk to her boyfriend. Like, just come on, walk away. Y'all sit, you sit over here, let her sit over here. But he wasn't having it. They were still just pit bulls, just barking, doing the most in the corner at the fucking club. And it's sad because we weren't even in the corner. It was like as soon as you walk in the club, we was probably one, two, three. So it was right smack dab in the middle. People can clearly see what's going on or whatever. So, and look over to me. And she like, is that good or whatever? And I look at her like, bitch, the fuck? Why are you talking to me? Why are you talking to me? Because I'm this close. Y'all see? Y'all see this? I'm this close to whooping your ass. Because I never in my 27 years fought my sister. But I see that she's doing this shit for you. I whoop your ass. Because, bitch, I don't, I don't even know you. And I don't even know where the static is coming from. I'm the type of person I fight, I rage out. So... That's why I don't fight family. I never fought family. Because I'm not one of those type of people when I fight, baby, I fight to harm. I fight to harm. So, yeah. I'm like, bitch, why is you talking to me? I don't even like you. I don't even like you. I damn sure don't like you. Y'all trying to be mean girls in the corner? Like, yeah, just wait. Just wait till we walk up this goddamn club. I got something for the bus of yous. I got something for the bus of yous. So, whatever. Um... I ignored the bitch, rolled my eyes at the bitch, and was trying to pay attention to what was going on with Selfish and her dude to make sure shit didn't escalate. But it fucking did. It was escalating by the second. So I'm like, you know what? This ain't for me. This is irritating me. This threw off my whole damn mood. I step outside. I step outside. I'm on the phone. I'm really trying to find me a ride. Trying to see what I'm going to do. Like, how I'm going to move out the situation. How I'm going to remove myself out of the situation. Because I didn't have a key to the um, the Airbnb. Only selfish and her dude did. So, I'm like, how I'm going to get back home? How I'm going to get in the room? What's going on? I'm sitting here, bling, 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 bling. Trying to call a dude that I was with. Of course, wasn't answering. Why did I expect him to be there for me when the nigga didn't even come to my fucking birthday trip? Who leaves this? Who needs all of this and let this go to Miami? Like, I'm trying to tell y'all, the dudes out there was... I was trying to do a cat call, but I guess that was my cat call, y'all. I was telling them, like, I got a dude, where he at? And they was just like, where he at? Where he at? He ain't here. But I'm like, no, I'm faithful, dumbass, trying to be faithful. I'm faithful, whatever. Like, who the fuck will let you come out here to Miami by yourself? It's like, I know. I know. But anyways, yeah, I'm trying to call him. Get some emotional support. He's not answering. And I'm alone with y'all, so I couldn't call nobody else. So I'm just outside, like, trying to take a breather or whatever, get my mind together. This stranger walk up, I'm trying to talk. I'm like, all right, I don't want to talk to you, sir. Like, if you could see, I got smoke coming out my damn ass and head. Like, I'm, I'm on 30. Like, I'm, I'm more ready right now. I ain't, I ain't got home. Sorry, back up. Back up. So... Maybe after like five or ten minutes of being outside or whatever, um, her homegirl Kimberly come outside. Kimberly was so drunk. Even when the the stuff was taking place in the club, she was so like out of there, y'all. She didn't even know what was going on. She didn't know her <laughs> ass her from her mouth hole. Like she was so confused. Like she was discombobulated. She didn't get what was going on. And I couldn't blame her, y'all, because we was literally drinking like all day. So I already knew Kimberly wasn't there. She was drunk. She was confused. Didn't understand what was going on or whatever. So I'm outside and I'm trying to figure out what I'm trying to do. Mo end up eventually walking outside and checking the scenes, trying to see what's going on. I'm like, I'm ready to go. I really 100% wasn't ready to go. And now that I think about it and look back on it, I really should have let that bitch go home. Because I wasn't drunk. She was. I mean, I was drunk, but I was still functional. She was out of control drunk. So I'm like, bitch, we literally just paid $400 for the section and ain't, ain't even been here an hour. A hour. And we finna get ready to go, whatever. So, yeah, I was probably waiting outside. I mean, they came outside. And at this point, we probably been sitting outside for maybe 25, 30 minutes or whatever. It was cold as shit. Like, it was it was getting cold as hell or whatever. So, um, we trying to wait on them to see what's going on. Because I'm like, is we going to 
catch a Uber on our own or are we going to ride back with them? Because like I said, I really couldn't move around because I didn't have a key to the room. I really didn't even know what room we were staying in, honestly. I was just there for a good time on the top or whatever. And I didn't even mention, like, when we first got there, the room was a problem. Like, the room situation was a problem. One of the master room was a problem. We was arguing about the master room. I'm like, bitch, already I'm here by myself, and y'all here together. Like, why would you get this Airbnb with one grand room, and then the other room's like this basic-ass room? And you know I'm not a basic-ass bitch. I always want the nice room. So, bitch, for you to think that... um you were just automatically entitled to the master room. Uh, no. You didn't even pay. We all bust the room down evenly. So I could see if you pay like a majority of the money and you wanted the master room, then cool. But that wasn't the case. And I was willing to do, okay, like let me do a day or two in here and then you do a day or two in here. Like we can rotate or whatever. But she made that a problem. She caused that a problem, whatever. Because fair is fair. Who am I to say I'm, I deserve the master bedroom? And who are you to say you deserve the master bedroom? So let's just be fair. I sleep in here a day. You sleep in here a day. And we just keep rotating until it's time to go or whatever. But um, I'm glad it didn't work out like that. Because it's like, you hear what you do. You're gonna, I'm pretty sure y'all going to get busy in the bed and shit. Who, who got time for that? Y'all not going to change the seat, sheets or nothing. So... I'm not finna swap out in your juices or whatever. Y'all was in that bed, did something in that bed. Now I'm finna come behind y'all in that bed. So it just happened to be I just had the master room the whole time or whatever. I just had to throw that in there because um that kind of set the tone for the trip too. Like the very first night that we was there, we was getting into it. We was getting into it about the room or whatever. So I was going to go to my reservation and go out to eat and do whatever I did by myself. I really didn't give a fuck because the energy off the top, the vibe off the top was giving like, this is why I shouldn't have never came out here. And this is why I pushed my the dude that I was with to come out there with me because I know how selfish give it up. And I know when I'm just the all about out, there's a chance that, shut up. I know when I'm the all about out, there's just a chance that shit is not just going to go as planned. It's going to be a lot of weirdo activity, weirdo energy or whatever. So, um, I just have to throw that in there. Let me see where I'm at. Oh, 40 minutes. Damn. Just so y'all long as hell. So, yeah, let me wrap this up because it's long. So, yeah, um she did that or whatever so they finally come out the club or whatever and we getting ready to go back to the airbnb as we getting ready to go back to the airbnb they are still arguing selfish and her dude is still arguing she cussing him out like i'm not finna get in the car with you i'm gonna get my own uber i got my own uber her uber pulls up behind the uber that her boyfriend decided to get or whatever I get in the car because I'm I'm just like, I don't give a damn who rides in what Uber. Like, I'm ready to go. Like, I'm ready to, to get the fuck away from y'all. Because as soon as we touch base to this Airbnb, I'm going to check everybody's temperature and see what y'all was on at the club. What's up now? Like, what's up now? I don't think she got in the Airbnb. I don't think she got in the Uber, though. I think she ended up getting in the Uber with us so you did all that for nothing like no reason they it was a whole mess to get her out the the damn uber car and into the car with us it was just too much or whatever so she finally get in the car laughing being childish talking shit or whatever so i had some long ass braids as y'all see in the videos i start wrapping my braids up because i'm like bitch ain't no one thing for certain two things for sure do i look like a sugar tank hoe no ain't nothing sweet about me i'm not kool-aid ain't nothing sweet about me so if this what you want this the energy you want I'm gonna give it to you and your friend. My bad, y'all. I'm gonna give it to you and your friend. So I start wrapping up my hair and shit. Like, what's up? Talking shit too. Like, what's up? What y'all wanna do? Whatever energy y'all had in the club, keep it up. Keep the momentum up. Cause now I'm on the same time with y'all on, and I wanna see what's up. But it was crazy. Like when I got on that same energy, of course I'm not trying to direct the energy at my sister, but she was getting my fucking nerves, y'all. Like she just kept coming for me, kept calling me out my name, kept disrespecting me, and all I was trying to do was resolve the situation, calm the situation down because we in another state. This is not our hometown. I'm not trying to go to jail. I'm not trying to do none of that. But she was not trying to hear it. She was still doing the most, y'all. So whatever. Um, we get back to the room or whatever. We waiting for they, um, Kimberly's and, um, 
Ants, Rod, or whatever. Kimberly got the fuck out of Dodge quick. It's as soon as we got there. I don't know if she got her shit when we was at the club. Because as soon as we got there, her Airbnb, I mean, not her Airbnb, her Uber was there waiting on her. But like I said, I'm still talking shit because I want to fight Ant. Like, what's up? Let me check your temper. Boy. What's up? What you got going? Or whatever. But she wasn't on that shit. The same energy that she had in the club, she no longer had that. She was on some friendly, bye y'all, have a good night shit. And it was just very confusing, very confusing. So <clears throat> they leave or whatever. She didn't want no smoke. We get in the um, Airbnb. They are tearing up the room. Selfish and her dude is tearing up the room. They still fighting. They still arguing. They still going crazy. They still going well. We were in a very nice, we were at the W, y'all. Like, nice as fuck. Nice as nice so i'm like bro somebody gonna complain somebody gonna call they're gonna get arrested i'm scared of jail what i tell y'all i do not fuck with the police i don't i don't do that so i'm scared i'm like you know what i'm trying to go in there and resolve this situation every time i go and resolve this situation is yana you this yana you a bitch fuck you da -da 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 -da. it was so bad y'all i even contemplated on calling my mama but at this time, at this period of time in life, my mama was tired of us. She was tired of our drama, and I did not want to bring that to my mama. She was already not feeling good, sick, and I refused to let our drama be the sickness or cause a sickness or illness to my mama. So I hung up immediately, and I was like, you know what? I think it's time for me to go. It's just time for me to go. And her boyfriend come talking and trying to make sure, check, check my temperature and see what's going on. All I did was piss selfish off even more that he was talking. So I was just like, you know what? It seems like you talking to me is the problem. So just, you know, go check on your girl. Go out there and check on your girl. Because at this point, she talked the room, left, walked off, went downstairs somewhere. Don't know where she went. And I'm just like, go check on your girl. Fuck, don't worry about me. Go check on your girl and whatever. So, um, yeah, I try to reach the dude that I was with. Again, he finally answered, but he was like half ass asleep. So I'm trying to vent to him and tell him what's going on or whatever. But it kind of went one end out the other because old dude was tired or whatever. So I'm like, you know what? I'm not fucking with the energy. I'm not fucking with none of this. I'm just going to go ahead and book me a flight and go ahead and come home. I'm going to book me a flight and come home. I'm going to see what flights they got that's close enough to Tom. And I'm going to go. And at this time, y'all, it was probably like 5 in the morning. Yeah, it was like 5 in the morning. We didn't stay at the club till 5 in the morning. They just, this shit just prolonged that long to about 3, 4, 5 in the morning. So... I'm like, yeah, that's my cue. That's my cue. I'm finna go. So, y'all, I booked me the first flight. Not even the same airlines that I came in there with. I booked me the first flight home. And I was out there, bitch. I packed my shit up so quick. Threw me on a sweatsuit. And I was gone. I was gone. My flight left at like 6 or 7. I told the dude that I was with. We at the airport. Because I'm on my way home. I was supposed to leave. I was supposed to stay one more day, like Sunday. We was going to stay full Sunday, and then we was going to return home Monday. Fuck that. I'm coming home. I'm coming home early. Mama's home early. So, yeah, y'all, I got my shit, and I was out, out OT, and I was back at home by 10 a.m. in the morning. I was back in my hometown by 10 a.m. in the morning. And, yeah, y'all, that was, yeah, that was a trip from hell, and I... That was like my third or fourth time in Miami. Every time I go to Miami, y'all, it's some shit. That's why they said, like, be careful who you go to Miami with. Because when you come back, if y'all are still friends from coming back from a trip from Miami, y'all are destined to be friends. This is my whole blood, y'all. My sister. And me and Selfish, like, yeah, I wasn't fucking with her. I didn't fuck with her for a minute because of that. Because that shit was just weird. Why would you pour a drink on me in the club? And for what reason? What the fuck do to you? I'm just sitting here in the corner having a good time. And I'm trying to, like, calm down the situation. You want to cuss me out? Call me all kind of bitches and hoes? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. But, yeah, y'all, I know this was a very long, long, long story. I was trying to throw in details, and I still feel like I missed a couple of details. But I'm not going to keep y'all. If y'all stay to the end of this video, I really do appreciate y'all, especially if y'all got a tad bit ratchet with the kid. And if this y'all first time clicking on this video and checking me out, go ahead and subscribe because I promise y'all going to like it. And if y'all really do just, you know, y'all just mess with me like that, go ahead and hit the red notification bell so y'all can be notified every time the kid post and 
don't forget my giveaway it's still going what's the hoochie gang hit 500 sign seal delivered i can list new inbox it is yours but yeah that's it y'all like share comment share with your mama share with your daddy share with y'all bald headed granny y'all already know what's up until next time i'll see y'all in my next mother freaking video bye